Azure tip number one. Azure Spot Instances. If you want to make a lot of savings with your Azure Virtual Machines, you need to know about Azure Spot Instances. If we come to create a brand new Azure Virtual Machine here in the portal, and we choose a resource group to dump this into, and a quick virtual machine name, you'll notice that down here, there is actually another option called Run with Azure Spot Discount. What this will do uh, with the Azure Spot Discount is actually used unused capacity, and you can gain 80 or 90% savings on your virtual machine deployments at the expense of Microsoft having the ability to evict your virtual machine when they see fit without warning. This could be excellent for test environments where the data is not actually too much of an issue. We can see here from the documentation, it says using Azure Spot virtual machines allows you to take advantage of our unused capacity at a significant cost saving at any point in time when Azure needs the capacity back, it will evict the Azure Spot machines. But if we have a look at the pricing page over here, you'll see 80 to 90% savings on virtual machines. So a two core, eight gig virtual machine at $148 a month can be brought down to $20 a month. This can be massive savings in your dev test environments for when you need to quickly spin up a virtual machine, run some code and destroy it at the end. Azure Virtual Machines tip number two. AzurePrice.net, another way to bring down the cost of some of these virtual machines in Azure is to choose different regions. Different regions have different pricing for Azure Compute instances, and they can be vastly different in their prices dependent on the locations you deploy to. If I select UK South from here at AzurePrice.net, what I'll be able to see is the price comparisons with all the other regions. So for example, a basic A0 machine is 20% cheaper in Korea South. And as we scroll down, we can see there are many, many differences here between a lot of these virtual machine SKUs, including up to 40 or even 50% discounts. For example, a D1 V2 here is 35% cheaper in West US 3 than it would be in UK South. If you're not region locked, choosing a different region for your virtual machine can mean you can save a considerable amount of money on your virtual machine deployments. Azure tip number three. resize after deployment. Did you know you can change a virtual machine size after deployment without having to redeploy it? You can click over here into sizings and I can change this to a four core 16 gig virtual machine just by hitting resize. Remember your virtual machine will not change its functionality in response to its hard drive, but it will reboot when you perform this operation. This could save you a significant amount of money by resizing virtual machines in the evening when people aren't actually using them. Azure tip number four. RDP in the browser. Without using a Bastion server, if we install the Windows Admin Center, for our virtual machines here, just by clicking on Windows Admin Center and whacking the one click install button. This takes a few minutes to install, but once it's completed, we can actually come over, hit connect and connect to the Windows Admin Center of this machine. Once we're connected into the Windows Admin Center, not only can we do things like remote PowerShell connections and remote installations of features, we can also do an in-browser RDP access for Windows servers. Just scroll down here on the left hand side, whack remote desktop connection and stick in your virtual machines, admin usernames and passwords. Connect automatically when the certificate is presented and confirm that and you have RDP in the browser without any extra configuration and without the cost of a Bastion server running in the background. Azure tip number five. In our fifth Azure tip, we have direct commands. If we scroll down here on the left-hand side, we can run a command directly inside this virtual machine without actually having any network connectivity to it. 
We don't have to have any local network connectivity. We don't have to have any public connectivity. We can fire a PowerShell script directly into this machine and see a result. The problem is that you won't be able to get IntelliSense here for your PowerShell script, and it can take quite a long time to return the results, but this is sending the PowerShell script and the PowerShell code directly through the hypervisor layer of that virtual machine. And we'll see the output for this get service B star in a moment. We could also run more advanced commands and run something like our install Windows feature, web server, but since there is no IntelliSense, sometimes you have to be very careful with your PowerShell scripts, as if you do not type them correctly, you will see these outputted results here. Not the recognize the name of a commandlet. Let's just correct that to the correct commandlet, which is actually not install feature, but it's a very easy mistake to make. We'll just do install Windows feature instead, rerun that command, and boom, we have our web server installed. The installation of this is slightly sped up. And that concludes our top five Azure tips for Azure virtual machines. I hope you enjoyed this recording and I hope to see you again next time. I hope you enjoyed those top five tips from Azure and you know the routine, hashtag like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll join me next time. Goodbye.